This is the palettes. That's just not normal. Now we have a problem because that's not gonna be a good look. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new, thank you very much for visiting and for the ones coming back, thank you so much for coming back again and for the newbies, I hope I don't disappoint and you do subscribe to my channel and become part of our little family anyway, I'm smiling today because even without makeup, but that's all good and Today I'm excited because I bought uh, a new palette of eyeshadows and I've never tried this brand and I bought it, I wanted to buy a stealer but then they didn't have in that drop stealer so I know so anyway I bought this palette and it was recommended to me from the beautician there and she said it's a vegan vegetarian palette so yeah so I'm gonna try it I did try some colors so I'll do swatches for you with all the colors and then let's see what look I'm gonna come up with and yeah so without further ado let's get started with the video and I'll show you the palette let's just jump to the video so this is the palette it's pixie by Petra and oh uh, uh, yeah this is the way, but I have put it the other way around here, <laughs> so don't judge. Um, so this palette, it, it contains 12 colors, and the 12 colors, there is one like matte, I think, and the rest of them, uh, they're, they're shimmery, and it's a mixture of creamy metallic colors, ranging from light to dark, help create a 3d glow and shimmer make your eyes the center of attention and it's with it's with it's Swiss company and yeah and there in the back you have the names of the colors so yeah so i will be doing a lot of looks so i think this palette costed me like 23 pounds i'm not sure and then the next thing we're going to review is the eyeliner if you have watched my channel you know i have problem with eyeliners i have so many eyeliners and i'm going to do soon video with trying all the eyeliners because i still cannot find the right eyeliner for me i think my eyelids are too soft or i don't know what's happening but it's just if it if I apply it correctly then it's just much as here so I've tried from cheap end to the to the expensive ones and I still have problem with that anyway this is the palette and now I'm gonna try not to so first I'm gonna try the melted the melt uh, the, the thing I love about this palette is that you can see the colors through here so I love it it doesn't feel pl uh, cheap at all I love the nice green color on the palette I really like it actually uh, because it's very calming and yeah it's very fresh it looks very fresh so we're going to start with this one that's the the moon glam and the moon glam there you go this is so pigmented oh god I think that's perfect for the corner for the water and this is I think this is the the base color or it can be like a transitioning color this one was the peach luster then we have the melt then we have the melted minerals which are here it's similar to the one above and I think this ones can be transitioning colors this one's transitioning colors and this one can be actually the base then we go to the warm brass, which is here. Oof, God. And then we go to the rose medallion. I love rose. I think I might be using that today. It's going to go well with my jumper. Yep. Rose medallion. Then we have the gold metal, which is this one. Oof. Then we go to the metallic mink. Oh my god, that's pigmented. Then we go, I think that's one of my, the foiled magenta. I think that's one of my favorite actually. Look at that. Then we go, where were we? 
we go to the fairy copper which we can switch here and then after that we go to the burnished brown oh my god this is very very nice and then we go to the which one is that antique penny Oof. and then we go there are a bit more matte this one so they're perfect the bottom ones for transitioning colors the last one is the deep bronze which i will swatch here so they are perfect for transitioning colors the bottom ones Oof. i can't wait to try it and then we have the eyeliner which is the cut eye ink that's how it looks like i did try it honestly and i was not okay i'll show you okay that's how it is and look how it dries out so how i'm supposed to do a cut line because it's just there is no much pigment in it i don't know am i doing something wrong or so if you have any advice for me uh, i'm not a beautician i just oh, and it's very hard to get off uh, i just love doing makeup i'm a professional hairdresser but i love makeup as well so i decided i'm going to do some videos with makeup too excuse my hair no i said i'm i'm a hairdresser but this is the, the state of my hair at the moment uh, and it's 11 o'clock in uk now i had my breakfast and my coffee and now it's time to do some videos because tomorrow we're go we're going back to work so yeah so I'm gonna start with the look first I'm going to apply my base and everyone knows that I love my light total effect 7 and I will apply that all over my face first I'm going to put of course I'm going to put the base on my eyelid and at the moment I have the base uh, make a base from bare minerals and it's that's how it looks like so we're going to apply this first i used the peach luster now what i'm thinking i i want to go with hmm, i want to go with the antique penny that one here Okay, this is done and now what I want to do is I want to wet my brush and use this the I want to use the rose medallion this one I want to use this one and I want to put it just under and see what's going to happen okay, that doesn't want to distribute like as smooth as I thought might be using the wrong brush so I'm just gonna get another brush and try with like a softer brush it doesn't look at all good it's like it's already creased Okay, I don't know if that's normal, but look at my eyelid. It's like... It's not smooth. And I think it might be the base I used from Bare Minerals. So I think that one, that might be one of the reason because... Yeah, that's just not normal. And I have something in my eye. Let's continue and see what's gonna happen. So now... Now what I want to do is, I want to put a little bit of this, the, the folded magenta, that one. I want to put a little bit here, 
just to make it nice so I'm going to use a pencil brush probably and I'm going to apply it now I'm gonna do the bottom one again I'm gonna get the the dark I'm gonna get first this one and then I'll apply it and then under under the foiled magenta I will get the lighter one this one and then apply it on the I don't know if you like this look but for me like look at that I don't know what happened here it's like it's not that smooth yesterday I did a review on Morphe palette and it, it cost it exactly the same price and you have 35 colors this one you get 24 and I think they're a bit too creamy they're too too soft to apply it's just look at the palette now it's like they're they're so hard to work I think you have to have experience with using this palette or I'm using the wrong brushes I don't know what's happening okay so we've done the bottom line the bottom eye and now we need something bright here to pop that one the melted mineral now we have a problem what we going to put here that one is too yellow to go for eh it works I like this bomb baby and now it's the last thing what I like to do is I like to go back to the with a the bigger mixing brush and I just like to go all over it so I can make sure it's actually nicely blended so there you go just don't go too higher so the dark bit doesn't reach your eyebrow because <laughs> that's not gonna be a good look not for today probably for another time now my dog my dog wants to go out so I have to open the door for him because he still hasn't developed his pretty hands <laughs> so this is how it looks like and as a final touch what we're gonna do is I get a nap tissue and I just clean a little bit this corner and make it into an angle that's it okay okay I don't know if you can see what I see let me just get closer so now I'm just going to do my face and I will come back with doing the eyeliner for you so my face is ready I did my foundation I think I overdid it a little bit I'm keep trying new foundations and they're still not <laughs> working properly for my face but yeah I look a bit tanned which is all right um, now it's time for us to try the eyeliner and guys I really hope I don't ruin this look I just it took me like one hour to create with the face and the and everything else so I really hope I don't ruin it with this eyeliner because I just don't understand if it doesn't work so let's try like that if no we pull this bit out and we turn it around hopefully we can and we try it again so let's do the eyeliner okay, not much coming out there you go That feels like a pencil, like a pen, and it's so hard for the eye. It just feels like you're holding actually a drawing pencil. Look at that. It's just... Nothing comes out. It's just ridiculous. Right, let's do the other one. No, it's all gone. It's all gone, nothing comes out and I'm not sure am I doing something wrong or okay we pull this out 
Oh, there you go. Here. Okay, and then, oh, uh, then I need something else to... <laughs> Alright, I use the hand quickly. I use my hand and then I put it back in. Let's... Oh, God! I just made a mess with my face. Uh-oh. Go away! Is it still black? Please work. But like so much for it. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, that's so much difference. I thought I had to throw it. Oh, mama, yeah. Yay! I fixed it. Let's see when it's gonna run out. Is it gonna be enough for the next eye? Right. Trust. To, be te to tell you the truth, I'm not that great at creating wink eyeliners, so every time when I do it, I always get my eyes so different, so hopefully this works. I watched so many videos how to do winged eyeliner and I think because I before I never used eyeliner, I started using eyeliner in the past year, so I think it's just practice. Hmm. Which one is better? Why well, can't do them like you know about the same? It's a bit thick, not gonna lie. I think this one came out better than this one. So now guys I'm going to apply my mascara and I'll show you my final look and I will tell you my opinion about all these products I've just used. So guys, that's it. I'm ready. I just put my mascara and I put my uh, black pencil on my on on my bottom lash line, and I've decided I'm not gonna use any fake lashes because we're going to for a bowling. Yay! We're going bowling today with my best friend and her husband and my boyfriend. So yeah, so. And I thought I'm gonna get ready, so let's just do another video. And I wanted, to, I had this palette for so long, so I wanted to to do a trial on this palette. Uh, oh my god, my hair is a mess. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so let's just jump to the conclusion, to the final part of this video, and try not to make it as long as the other ones. <laughs> my final thoughts about the palette and the eyeliner from Petra so the palette is really really nice the only thing is I think you have to have a bit of an experience using all the shades here because they, they, they're they a bit soft uh, some of them and when you apply them on the lid I think you have to have experience to know which brush to use so they don't smudge and then the eyeliner it didn't work for me for a long time then I had to you saw on the video I had to turn it upside turn this part upside down and then it start working so it's just enough to apply on both your eyes the eyeliner and then you have to do the same process all over again uh, yeah so pretty much I'm really happy with my look and I will post in the description below how uh, like uh, if it lasted me uh, for for a long time and if the eyeliner smudged the eyeshadow how long did it last so yeah i will do that and i'll show you from close look how it looks like so yeah i show my better better eyeliner So yeah guys, thank you very much for watching, I really enjoyed doing this video, I love pink makeup, I love pink look and for those of you who haven't subscribed, I will really appreciate the fact that you subscribed and uh, for those of you who already subscribed, thank you so much for coming again and uh, watching me and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please do comment on this video and let me know if you have tried these products and how did you find them and if you have any 
um, opinion about any eyeliners or eyeshadows or uh, mascaras because I would like to know more about it and yeah thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video and I hope you smile today and I brighten your day and yeah and I'll see you in my next video lots of love bye